Hello, hello, and good evening, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It is learning live tonight. So we'll just give a minute to see some eyeballs on here. Please do comment hello as you come on. Um, I'm so excited to show you. I've been playing the last, I guess, 45 minutes or so, playing with different options for the things I'm going to show you and hope Hope, hope, hope I can give you some great ideas for your storage. We'll just wait until we see a few eyeballs. Sometimes Facebook is a little bit slow. If you are just tuning in, please say hello. Hope you are doing well. Things got a little bit colder here. Uh, over the weekend, but uh, I do think spring is uh, pretty much upon us. There we go. Hello, Heather. Hello, everyone. Hello, Caroline. Seeing everybody join in. So I'm going to try and cover two different sets of storage items. We are continuing our... Um, our exploration of storage and organization. And if you saw the chaos that lives outside of this little uh, perimeter that you see on camera, um, you would know that I am a crafter just like all of you. Um, I've got bins and piles and all kinds of things. And one of the things that I am striving for in the next four to six months is to totally revamp my craft room. So I will tell you this whole organization um, event, while I definitely am helping all of you out, um, I'm helping myself out as well. And I have found some products that um, I'm really in love with and really excited about. Uh, so like I said, on tonight's Learning Live, I'm going to focus on two different uh, kind of solutions. Well, maybe one is the first thing I'm going to show you is the, I started with the problem and I've got a couple of options for you. And then the second thing I'm going to show you is there's a whole series of, uh, totally Tiffany items that I'm really excited about. I can really see working well for my needs and my crafting space. So I'm going to share that with you as well. So hello everyone. And thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, our organization sale continues. So if you pre-order any of these totally Tiffany items that you're going to see tonight or any of the other ones that we have um, on our website, you are saving 10% until the end of the month, um, which, you know, we are just over the halfway mark. So um, just a couple weeks left to go. Um, Marcy is going to be doing a live later this week and she's going to be showing you some other Totally Tiffany items. Uh, Chris is going next week with some art bin items and we have a video from Tanya as well that's featuring um, art bin items. So we've got lots of great solutions to show you. All right, so like I said, the first thing I'm going to show you tonight starts off with a problem. And here are the solutions. So last week when Alexis was up, up on the live talking about Avriel items, um, one of the questions uh, that had came up a lot was, well, what about these super long Pink Fresh Studios um, lines and collections? So whether you've got the stamp, the die, uh, the stencil, or you've got the ones with the washi tape, like so. Um, here's another stamp, die, and stencil combo that I have in my, my stash. Or whether you've got your just your slimline cover plates or slimline dies really from any company. Elizabeth Craft, the planner dies, all of that good stuff. What do you do with these big guys that don't seem to fit in any size pocket, that don't seem to fit in any of the traditional storage systems? Well, I've got two solutions for you. The first one is simply called a storage supply box. Let me get these out of the way so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. And it is, again, this everything I'm showing you tonight is totally Tiffany. Um, this is a nice, heavy, plastic, clear case. 
uh, called the, Sim the Supply Storage Box. It does have a little locking mechanism and it does have a handle. This is an amazing size for all of these Pink Fresh sets. So if you have, again, you have a stamp, a stencil, and a die. Yeah, Studio Light would also fit in here as well. Anything that's longer than that norm, look at how nicely they fit in here. And what I like about this one, because of the depth, it is approximately, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it two and a half inches, is if you do have that coordinating washi tape, you can just tuck it right in there so everything stays together. And if you are have gone ahead and prepped your washi panels, uh, those can go in here. If you've got little baggies of the die cuts, uh, they can go in here as well. So everything can stay pretty well contained. Now, if you are putting the washi in here, you're not gonna get that many sets, but I do like that it kind of keeps all of your themed items together. Now, I told you I had two solutions. So this is one, this is the supply storage box, which if you've got your slim lines already kind of organized and just need something to put it in, this is a great solution. The other one that we have that I also think is pretty cool, this one's called the dynamic die storage. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, it may not be a secret, but I'm gonna call it a secret. Uh, Tiffany is designing pockets and organize and and um dividers for the slimline they're just not out yet but in the meantime this is a really great solution now this is about half the depth of this one so this one i would not say is a solution if you are looking to store the washi tape along with your stamps and dies maybe you're not a washi tape person maybe you just have a different solution for that um, but this is great for that stamp die and stencil um, so this little section pulls out as I get them organized here and they all tumble. So again, this is that same hard plastic. It is thinner, but then inside you get five of these amazing storage pouches. They have a tab divider on the top and this is really cool. So if you look at the picture here, let me get it out of the box. If you look at the picture here, these little inserts were literally designed for your nesting dies so that you can stack them. And when you pull the little insert out of the pocket, you've got all these little baby pockets that you can use to collect your nesting dies. So if I had this set, for example, which this one's just two dies, but what I could do is I could take them and I would put my larger one in the bottom and then I can tuck my next one in the next pocket up and so on and so forth. And I guess you would have to decide whether you wanted it in front or behind, but it's a great way to just kind of store all those nesting dies and use the same space without really um, wasting too much. Uh, this little divider is also great. You don't even necessarily have to use the pockets what you could do is take this guy, have the divider down the middle, and then I could put set number one in the front, like so. And this is not gonna fit well because they're in the packaging, but if you took them out of the package, you could put set number one on the front, set number two on the back, label it up and get 10 full sets all in one container. So that is another great solution for your uh, Pink Fresh, for your Slimline, for your Elizabeth Crafts. Um, here I am off the camera. Um, another fun fact, though I don't know that I would necessarily do that, is if you did have two of these guys, let me get it closed up here. I could fit two of these guys in this one. So this does nest in. So maybe you wanted to have one whole case here that was all your Pink Fresh and another one that is all your Elizabeth Crafts. 
that does kind of help keep it together. It's a tiny bit redundant. I don't know that I would go that far, but it, if you like to have things together, or maybe you think you're gonna be traveling, uh, whether it's to the cottage or the trailer, and you just wanna have a few, a few fewer things to, to carry, then that is an option as well. Last thing on this supply storage box. The main thing that it is advertised for is your thickers. So if you have great big sheets of thicker alphabets, thicker stickers, even these great big six by 12, they all fit perfectly in that case as well. So if you maybe aren't a dye person, but you're looking for somewhere to store all your big stickers, that supply storage bin is perfect for that. So that is topic number one of my learning life, pink fresh, slim line, thicker storage. And that was the uh, supply storage box and the dynamic dye storage um, package. Let me move these off to the side and we will talk about topic number two. So I would say that the uh, storage solution that has intrigued me the most personally, and I'm seeing shadows here, but we'll fix that later, um, is the drawer units um, by to uh, Totally Tiffany. There is a two drawer, there is a four drawer, there is a six drawer, and there is an eight drawer solution all with varying, um, obviously, drawer configurations and sizes, but um, also lots and lots of uses. So let me just start by deconstructing one of these guys and showing you what it's all about. So it is this head, and these are, they're called storage and supply cases, and then it's um, labeled by the number of drawers in the kit. Um, the package includes the heavy vinyl, um, but carrying bag with the nice heavy canvas stitching on it, the awesome Velcro, and the double handle. So there's a handle on the end, there's a handle on the lid. And one of Tiffany's uh, main goals or missions in her design process is to help you use your vertical space as well as your horizontal space. So these can be stored upright like this, they can be stored upright like this, or they can be stored flat. And that's why there all, are all those different handles. My only caution would be, really be careful about what you're putting in them, because if you've got lots of skinny stuff, you may have stuff dumping out if you put it this way. Um, just be mindful of that. I think that's just a little bit of common sense. Now inside, inside here, there are, there is the two parts. One is the drawer and one is what I call the stabilizer or the foundation. So every single one of these supply and storage, is that the right name? Here they are. Storage and supply, got it backwards. Each one of these storage and supply units come with this smooth, hard plastic frame that really just helps to um, solidify and stabilize your, your bag. It's pretty cushy, it's pretty collapsy. If you got stuff in here that you want to organize nicely, this just gives that little extra bit of strength. And it put, comes together easily, it comes flat, you just have to fold and put the tabs together and then insert it into your bag, just like so. And then you have your drawer units. And so this is where all of these storage and supply cases are the same. This is where they get a little bit different. So obviously two drawer, has two drawers that go full, uh, I'm gonna call this full length and half width times two, and they just slide nicely into your bag. Sometimes you need to just massage it a little bit so it gets in that opening and then you can velcro it up now there is the two drawer there is oh got it underneath here 
the four drawer, which I've already started putting some stuff in. So this one is very similar to the two, except we've got now quarters in our spaces. So there's one, two, three, four drawers in the four drawer, obviously. The six drawer, same idea, but this time we've got full height and it just runs the whole length. And if you wanna get the item that's way back here, you simply have to open that up, pull your drawer, grab that item and put it back. They slide really easily so that you can get all those things in the back without having to pull every single item out. The two, four and six are all the same height this way. So all of them measure that about, I think that's about two and a half inches again. They all measure the same height. Let me just raise my camera just a little bit. Like so, there we go. Now you can maybe see a little bit better. The H drawer is a tiny bit different in that it's not quite as tall. So here is that eight drawer. You can see it is not quite as tall this way, but it is great. It's got those eight drawers across the, uh, the length and you just open it up again. And if I want this ink back here, I'm just gonna pull it out. I can pull out my ink and away we go. So this one, as you can see, is ideal for all of your mini inks. Two, three, four, five, six. We figured out that you can do 48 mini inks if you fill the whole case. Uh, lots of great storage, but you can also store your paint brushes. You can store your mini blending brushes. You don't necessarily have to keep them all the same. It all depends on how you want to organize uh, your goodies. Um, I am going to get into showing you some different ideas for what you can put in these, but I do have um, one other thing that I want to tell you about these guys. Actually, maybe I'm going to do two. Yeah, these are great, super versatile. Uh, but the thing that I think I love the most and where I see the most potential is that the footprint of all of these drawers are exactly the same. So you can stack them. You can stack them nice and easy. I would just throw a little label down here as to what's inside. That way I can very easily go and get the drawer unit or the storage unit that um, I want. Now I'm gonna show you one other thing, but you're just gonna have to give me a minute because I'm gonna move these guys Oops, and drop one. So we're gonna get a little dizzy here for a second because I'm gonna take my camera off the tripod and I want to show you, and please, please, please ignore my messy craft room. Look at this. They fit absolutely perfectly in your Calyx or your Cube storage units. So whether you store them this way or I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one with one hand. If you were preferred and store them this way, you got great, great options for your storage. If you are someone that has one of these little trolleys like I have, I don't know that I would necessarily store these horizontal because they are gonna be a little bit difficult to get to, but if you had a series, you could store them this way and they still fit really nicely in that trolley. So, um, yes, as Matt is saying, the eight drawer does have the exact same footprint, it's just not as tall. So let me come back, I'm gonna get my camera back in the holder. Excuse my fingers. And my big fat hand there, there we go. So while I've got them here, let me just show you that again. The four, six, and eight are this wide. It's about two and a half inches deep. The eight drawer is skinnier, probably about an inch deep, give or take, but it is perfect for those little ink cubes. And again, they all stack in that same footprint. 
I'm also going to get, I, so I've showed you one, two, three, I've shown you four different ones here. The two, the four, the six, and the eight. Technically, that's all there is in the drawer units, but I do want to show you that the eight and a half by 11 paper taker could almost act as a one drawer unit. So it just has that stabilizer um, foundational piece, but once again, exact same footprint. So you can stack these up, you can get them all labeled up and very easy to just grab, or even if you wanted to, you could even leave them open. You could fold this back leave them stacked and leave your drawers access so you can just pull out whichever drawers you want. So now that I've shown you how these fit in your current storage systems, how, um, how they work as individual units, let me show you how I plan to use these when my personal ones come in. These are all our store, sample, store samples. These are the ones that I've ordered for myself. So I really wanna show you those. All right, I mean, this one's pretty easy. You've seen all my mini inks. Um, I've got all kinds, I've got maybe four more containers of distress inks. I've got another, can, uh, looks like two container of, of the mini uh, pink fresh. So I'm easily gonna be able to fill one, probably two um, of these guys. And that's what I plan to use the eight drawer unit for. All right. I'm gonna switch and not go in order. So this is my four drawer unit. I think that it is perfect, perfect organizing for your embellishments. So whether you've got the enamel square, uh, enamel dots, and if I wanna get at these guys, I just have to pull this guy out and then pull this guy out. Most enamel dots from the different brands come on similar size cards. If you need to, you could always just fold that branding piece back. So they're all, so Spellbinders, my hero dots, all in here. So it's easy for me to come back and flip through them. I can fit my, let's get that guy out. I can put my shaker domes in here. So just like Alexis had shown you guys how to use these last month, you could put them, I would probably put them in loose, the package, this one, the packaging fits, but with the shaker panes, I would probably take these out of the packaging, maybe throw them in a Ziploc bag just to keep them protected, but they will all fit nicely in here as well. Over here, I have all my little pouches of gems. And while I've got this on the camera, I'm excited to tell you that we're now selling these little pouches. So if you have clamshells, if you have these guys here that are just in that, um, that acetate packaging or that cellophane packaging, we sell these little pouches now, five pouches for $6.95. And I think they're ideal for just packaging up all of those hard to get out packages. And that also gives you a pretty standard size. But this is really neat just to keep them all in that four drawer uh, spell. You could organize them by color. You could organize them by season or type. And then over here in my last one, I've got my little jewel trays. And I know a few of you have been asking for those. We do have these also now in the store. Package of five for $6.95. Um, you can keep your ones with the little jars. I've got my jewel picker in here, my tweezers, my extra little baggies. So I would fill three of them with actual gems, um, but then use the fourth one for my tools and my things that I would always use with my gem. Uh, Sheila, these, I believe I called them gem pouches, and these are called triangle gem trays. Uh, they should be on the website. If you have trouble finding them, then I can come back and answer and put the links in the comments here. But I love this little four drawer unit for this purpose. And I missed one, so let me just throw that one in here. And, oh, the other thing I thought of, now that I've got all these in here, the other idea I had for these pouches was all your foam strips and your foam squares. Especially if you tip them out of the packaging, they would fit perfectly in here as well. So 
So you could put all your foam strips in one. You could put your foam squares in another. You could do them white versus black. Really great way just to keep, and maybe put some of your extra tape measures, uh, not tape measures, tape runners in here as well. Your refills, keep, you know, have a whole set that is just for your adhesive. So two really great ways to use this four drawer uh, component for various essentials that you may have in your stash. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip over here now to this. This, this is the eight and a half by 11 paper taker. Again, it is perfect for things like your page templates, your eight and a half by 11 uh, magnet. Uh, whether you've got, you know, again, whether you've got your slimline dies on here or Elizabeth Craft or even just collections like I have, this is great. Uh, when you're looking at totally Tiffany things, the key to looking at her stuff is when she has a measurement. So this one being the eight and a half by 11 paper taker, or maybe there's the six by six or the five by seven. Those measurements are not necessarily and likely not the outside measurements of the unit. What those measurements are is what fits in the bag. So the six by six will hold six by six pads, six by six stickers, six by six stencils. I will also tell you there's usually even a little extra wiggle room. So a six by six paper taker will actually hold the six and a half by six and a half inch Kaiser Craft pads. This eight and a half by 11 will actually hold not only eight and a half by 11 letter size, the North American standard, but it will also hold A4, which is the European standard. So both of those will fit perfectly in that single drawer carrier. All right, now to the ones that I feel like have the most versatility. We have our two drawer and we have our six drawer. Now, remember, same footprint. So what does that mean? It means you can mix and match. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up my two. I'm going to open up my six. I'm going to pull out three drawers from here. I'm going to pull out one drawer from here and I'm going to move them over. Matt's telling me not to lose anything. Don't you worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. So now I have two that hold small things and large things. What can those small and large things be? Well, this one I'm going to use for my embossing powders. So in these little uh, drawers, I'm gonna put my powders in. It's a little bit big for the wow jars, but you can kind of zigzag them and stack them up. Squeeze in as many as you can. I've got my hero embossing powder. That's also hero. I have, thought I had, yep, here. My Sizzix embossing powder, which are slightly bigger. You can stack them too if you have enough room, depending on your jars. Yeah, the Lawn Fawn glitter would fit in here as well. Um, Matt's shouting at me from the other room. Uh, lawn, lawn Fawn embossing powder. I uh, don't seem to have a jar of Lawn Fawn embossing powder here, but it's the same size as the Hero, so it will all fit in. There we go. I'm going to stop there. But then what I can do over here in this drawer is I've got my embossing ink. Uh, is the size, I just saw a comment from Wanda, is the size of the six tray a good size for washi tape? I believe it is. Let me finish showing this and then I'll go grab some washi tape. I know we do have some other solutions that I think Marcy might be going over. Uh, distress embossing glaze, absolutely. But in here I'm putting my powder tool. I'm putting my embossing ink. I've got my embossing ink refill. And if I fold my cord carefully, my washi tape's down on the bottom. If I fold my cord carefully, I can even get my heat gun in here. So this can be my whole embossing kit. Everything that I need 
is, yeah, it's just this cord that's being tricky here, but I can slide that in and now all of my embossing is together. I think this is absolutely an awesome solution. Over here, oh, Matt's got my washi tape. So I could absolutely, in the six drawer, you could absolutely stack your washi tape that way. Or if you've got the big pink fresh, looks like you can get maybe, you might be able to get two in there if you squish it in tight. So those are great for washi tape solutions. The other solution I have for this, or the other contents I have for this is our newest fad, which is hot foil. So I've pulled out some of my hot foil goodies here. And some of them, I'm gonna be totally transparent. It's a tight squeeze. But I've got my um, foil trimmer that can just tuck in here. And maybe it's not gonna be perfect, but you know what, the other thing I could do is just not do a drawer at all and just slide it in like so. I've also got my heat mat. So that can slide in there. And then over here, I can have, well actually, yeah, I can put my tools in there. I can put my purple tape in there. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got my little foil trimmer and my magnet pickup tool. All of those can fit in one. And then over here, I can put the foil in, or actually now that I'm thinking of it, instead of doing the six drawer with this one, maybe I do two of the four drawer. So in here, I can put my rolls of foil, Slide that in. Let's get these out of the way. So I've got foil in here, foil in here, and then in the large one, maybe this is where I put all of my tools. So for me, the way I am thinking about these organizers is thinking about projects. I'm it, uh, Matt saying it's like a puzzle to fight the find the right combination. Absolutely. I mean, I could also keep my extra foil in here. I'm thinking about these as I guess project maybe not, project isn't the right word, but um I'm going to call I'm going to continue to call it project cuz I'm not thinking of the right word. But I'm looking at these as complementary products bags, project bags, where I want all my embossing stuff together. So I don't have to go looking for my powder, then go looking for my powder tool, then go looking for my ink, then go looking for my heat tool. It's all together in one place. And then I just have to label it up, stack it up in my cubes, and away we go. So when you're looking at these drawer units as your organization tools. Darlene is saying by theme. Yep, absolutely. Um, you could put punches in here. You could put your larger inks in here. I just like having everything together instead of in 14 different places in my craft room. This way I can just grab, create, tidy up easy because that's huge for me. I don't have any problems pulling all my stuff out. I have a ton of problems putting everything back. Matt's agreeing with me in the other room. He sees all the little piles that are here on my floor. So if it's easy for me to put back, my room is going to stay clean and organized and easy to access. So I think that's where I'm going to end my session tonight. Um, I certainly hope you have learned on our learning live. I absolutely, absolutely love these Totally Tiffany products and think that they are the solution that's going to work for me. So as I continue to tidy up and get my craft room sorted and organized, I will definitely continue to share with you guys my progress. Um, and that's all part, and, you know, having these themed bags or project bags, um, to me is all part of the purging and de-stashing process, is I'm pulling everything out that I don't need and then just putting back and organizing the things that I want to keep. 
So on that note, I'm now going to have to put all these things away so these samples can go back to the store. But I am really excited about the permutations and combinations that these uh, solutions offer and hope that you already have some ideas of how you want to use them in your craft room. So don't forget, you can pre-order any of these items that I've shown you tonight, as well as any of the other Totally Tiffany and Art Bin items that are on our website. Just look for the Organize It event. I think there's a banner still on the main page. If you just click on that, it'll take you right through and you get 10% off until the end of the month. We have already placed two orders for pre-orders. And so those things are, I think the first one's already come in. The second one is in process and we will keep placing orders until um, we are able to satisfy all your orders. Margaret, I wish we could just buy it all, but unfortunately we just don't have the space in the store. So that is why we're doing this pre-sale and we'll likely continue to have these items um, available, but not necessarily right in the store, uh, simply because we just don't have the space. I wish they had giant Totally Tiffany organizers for all our product, but that's just not the case. Anyways, I wish you all a wonderful rest of your Tuesday evening. Um, oh, I see what you're saying, Margaret. Well, actually, that that is what he is doing because that was my birthday gift, is reorganizing my craft room. So um, it's my gift to me. It's my gift from Matt to me. And we will get these all sorted out. All right, ladies and any gents who may be watching, thank you for tuning in tonight. Um, if you have any questions about Totally Tiffany in general, just send them to us at customer service at craftersworkshop.ca. We do have more tips coming. We do have more videos coming. Um, our team has been jumping on the bandwagon, really finding all kinds of different ways to use these products. And we're so excited to share them with you. Uh, I will be back tomorrow night for what's new. And then Thursday is Lawn Fawn Day, guys. So ho hopefully you're super excited about that. And we will close out the weekend on, or close out the week on that exciting note. So have a great rest of your week, everyone. Good night.